This episode is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the number one seller of games and gaming accessories. And GatheringMagic.com, the number one resource for Magic the Gathering news and articles. Hi, I'm Robert. This is my commander, Taysa Wars Off of Scion. This is Taysa Wars Off Scion. She's my commander. Uh, the reason I use her is for pretty much she's pretty cheap and she's pretty good with board wipes. Whenever uh, a black creature dies, uh, you get a 1 1 token. Her second ability is you, whenever you sack three white tokens or creatures and exile target creature. Uh, we'll start off with pl plain lands. I have 16 swamps. Six planes. Orborg Tuma Yagma. And you can't run that without Cabal Coffers. And then I run Nykthos, Shrine of Nyx. Pretty much just gives you a lot of mana. Uh, Pajuka Bog. Graveyard Hate. Here comes my dual lands. Wars off Gilgate. Tainted Fields, Temple of Silence, Isolate Chapel, Godless Shrine, Fidget Heath, Orzalt, Basculet, Command Tire. Uh, here comes some of the utility lands, Valdron Stronghold, pretty much put a target creature on top of your library, Reclatory Tire. Strip Mine, Maze of Ith, uh, Creatures, Blood Gas, just pretty much sack it and keep coming, bringing it back to the board. Reassembling Skeleton, same thing. High Priest, pretty much whenever a creature dies, you sack, uh, tap it and put it on top of Demon. Mentor of the Meek, just card draw. Vampire Nighthawk, just because I'm running black. Messenger, just comes into play, deals two damage. Flashback Marauder, comes into play. Everybody sacks a creature, you get a 1 1 token. Slum Reaper, just a cheaper version, well, actually a more expensive version of Flashback Marauder. Bloodline Keeper, I just use them to make tokens. Pretty much you get two for one. You get two black vampire, I mean, a two two black vampire, and then when it dies, you get a spirit. Frexian Obliterator. Erebos, God of the Dead. Divinity of the Pride. Opposite Ad Ghost Council. Archon of Justice, pretty much nobody wants to kill him or else you exile one of their target permanents. Deathbringer Liege, all your creatures get plus one plus one if they're white and black. And whenever a creature comes into play, a black creature comes into play, you just destroy target creature if it's tapped. Grey Merchant of Asphodel, just pretty much you gain a bunch of life, your opponents lose life. Machaeus on Hollow. On hollow. Pretty much all your creatures die. They come right back, and then you get a field full of white spirits if you have your commander out. Uh, Triskelion pretty much combos off with Machaeus and Hollow. It's just an infinite combo. Dread pretty much unstoppable if the people are not running black. And whenever people creatures deal damage to you, destroy it. Grave Titan, just makes a bunch of t tokens. Masker Worm, 
just bring it in, destroy a bunch of people's small tokens, and they lose two life for each one that dies. Butcher McCall McCall when it, just a great pack pretty much Children, the whispering one you they all sack a uh, creature you get one back at the beginning of your turn Ashton Rider whenever it comes into play you exile target permanent when at least play the exile target permanent Ulamog just pretty much cause I don't like to be milled out uh, here comes the Planeswalkers. I pretty much use Soren for tokens. Elsmith, she's pretty good because you can either destroy uh, all the creatures' power or four or greater, or make a bunch of three three. I mean, make three one one tokens. It's pretty good when you're a commander. Uh, you can exile target permanent. And just use them for blockers, or use it for card draw. Lay down in the dark realms, pretty much destroy creatures or look for mana. Lay down the vest, just use it for tutor. Uh, here's the removal package Path of Exile, Sword the Plowshare, Go for the Throat, Heroes Downfall. Destroy planeswalkers or creatures. Mortify. Destroy creatures or enchantments. Vindicate. Destroy just pretty much anything. Silence of the Believer. It's, it's one of the new cards that came out. It's pretty good. I've wiped people's fields with it. Just exile all their creatures. Ablation, pretty much exile their, I mean, put, shuffle their commander back into their deck or planeswalkers or whatever. Um, their commanders, pretty much, that's what I do. Return to Dust, it's good for the new gods and cre uh, artifacts and enchantments. Just exile them. Uh, wrath of God, whenever you write, I don't care to really wrath that much, but whenever I do, all my black creatures just leave behind 1-1 one, one tokens if I have my commander out. Same thing with Damnation. And here's my reanimator package. I don't run that many creatures, so I need to get back my creatures. Uh, here's Victimize. He's one of the new cards from Conspiracy. I just sack one of my tokens and get back two of my big get creatures. Put them back on the battlefield tapped. Mind Sludge, uh, for all the control players who have lots of cards in their hands, they just discard them all for however many swamps I have. I normally have a lot. Identity Crisis, pretty much the same thing, but it's got, it's got a graveyard hate. Uh, here's my tutoring package, Diabolical Intent. Uh, I stack a token and search up my deck for whatever I really need at the time. Vampire Tutor, Demonotic Tutor, uh, Sensei's Dividing Top just pretty much lets me stack the top of my deck pretty much. Skull Clamp, great card with all my all my tokens. I pretty much just draw until I get what I need. Uh, you got to protect your commander, so Lightning Greaves. And swift foot boots. Uh, mimic that because if they have something that I want, I normally just imprint on it. Uh, icy manipulator because sometimes you just gotta tap down their artifacts, creatures, lands, anything that's bothersome. Staff and then pretty much just ping all their little creatures, ping the, your opponents, and just get an extra card draw. Bitter Blossom uh, just gives you a bunch of flying creatures, and I just sack them to Skull Clamp or whatever I need to at the time. Uh, here's the All Star of the deck, I think. 
martyrs calls uh, I can pretty much block and then sack the creature to it and prevent damage from another creature great pack all my tokens and skull clamp it just goes off and wipes the board normally no mercy sometimes you can't stop people from hitting you so you just let them hit you and then their creature is destroyed uh, Ley Line of the Void, just Graveyard Hate. Exquisite Blood, whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life. It combos with Singling Bond, and it's an infinite combo. Once these two are out, game over. Blood Tribute, it, it kind of combos with Singling Bond too, you know. You tap a vampire and then you deal, take half their life and then you gain half their, as much life as they lost and then someone bond kicks in and then game over. And then Sanguate, it just pretty much dump all your extra mana into it and then if you're running multiplayer games you gain, gain a lot of life. Thanks for watching CMDR Decks. Please subscribe and favorite.